Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. This is Crawling UK with finally episode 10 of Siberia. I messed up slightly in the previous episode. Didn't know whether I was on 9 or 10. But we ended it as we got to our next section. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, and I just ran out of the train previously in the last video and didn't see anyone. I was wondering, where's Oscar? Surely he should be around saying we've stopped for a reason, but I couldn't see him in the train, so I'll go back outside. And let's see what we can find. I can see a giant statue in the distance there that looks like a giant Oscar. Maybe. Maybe that's something to do with something. Kate Walker. Whoa. Kate Walker. Oscar, shocked me. what's going on? Why is the train stopped? Where are we? The springs of the train are unwound again, Kate Walker. As for the question pertaining to our geographical location, I really haven't the slightest idea. Well, we'd better get looking for a winding machine, my dear Oscar. I hope that this place actually has one. The air here is so polluted that I could not possibly risk leaving the locomotive. My joints might corrode irreparably. Right. Let's see. Okay. okay. Let's try looking on the bright side here. I need to stretch my legs. Is there something wrong, Kate Walker? Are you uncomfortable? Are the passenger facilities on this train substandard? I shall draw up a formal complaint form for you immediately. Oscar, everything's fine, <laughs> I assure you. A little walk will do me good, that's all. Okay, the mission. Gosh, it's really gloomy here. I wonder where on earth I'm going to find a winding machine. I have total confidence in you, Kate Walker. You are, after all, a brave and resourceful woman. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oscar, you couldn't make a little effort for just this once. If we both went looking for the winding machine, the two of us together might find it quicker. You are in all probability correct, Kate Walker. But the high level of heavy metal miasma that pollutes the atmosphere could cause havoc to my wheel work. Okay. Let's hope Hans Varlberg once lived here as well. Maybe he planned for his locomotive's unplanned stop and installed a winding machine as well. Otherwise, it's not looking great for the rest of the journey. Do not forget that Hans Varlberg is a genius in the true sense of the word. But is he a genius with a sense of forward planning? We will find that out when we find the winding machine. My God, that music's quite what loud. I do with that? Uh, that's the last question, and I'll turn it down a bit. Will we ever get to the end of this journey? Simply wind up the spring, and we can set off immediately. From your mouth to God's ears. See you soon, Oscar. I shall stay right here, Kate Walker. Okay, so he's on the front of the train. I just need to help and options. Uh, sound. I think the music was a bit loud there when they were speaking. So. Hopefully I can turn it down a bit. There we go. Uh, maybe I've got to go this way, so I'm, I'm, in, <laughs> I'm going in this direction. Um, that was difficult, I thought I wasn't going to go then, but here we are. Big door. Don't know if I want to explore that yet. I always miss out things if I don't go everywhere possible. That's how I missed the badge previously. I was just looking up there. Okay, so I'm in some sort of. It's a room. <laughs> There's a bed in it. Something I can pick up there. I'll look at. Ah, I should listen to this voice cylinder. Come give me some interesting information. voice cylinder. Okay. Ah, is that what that thing is? There's some sort of button at the bottom, maybe. And a handle, okay, so that's it. Can't do anything else there. I can look at that as well. 
the slot. That's going to work. Yep, something missing. It doesn't work. That doesn't work. I don't know what you need. I don't think the handle's gonna work, is it? Oh, it is. <laughs> okay, so let's um, could push it up or push it down. Down. And push. It doesn't work. Up. Ah, that automatron's moving. Or is it me who's moving? Am I in that? So now I'm closer. Can I get closer again? This could be time consuming if I don't know what I'm doing here. Especially if I've got to move them back again. Up again. Let's go for it. No, that doesn't work. Job done. Train wound up, right? Can't go that way. Why not? Wait a minute, what's wrong with that? I want to go see. It goes down onto the platform. Ah, wait a minute, does the ladder not reach the floor from there? Ah, look, further back there's more ladders. So I've got to go all the way back to the... starting point, basically. Like this. Very interesting way to wind the train up. And we have stopped. Yes. Fantastic. I can leave and I can go down now. Yeah, down you go. Oh, what's this? Hey, you there. What's this? What is it? Who is it? Did he not just call? Oh, no. Has he been in the train and stole something? I'm gonna have a look at the train first. I think it's still something. Oscar's not there. I can't go up there now. No. And this is the train carriage. Let's go in. And in the door. Mammoth dolls, though. What about the shelf? These shelves look as if they're. Yeah, I'm not gonna put the voice cylinder there just yet. Join Oscar at the station. Give Oscar the ticket. Find the metal shearer and enter in the storage room. Find the man who stole Oscar's hand. <laughs> it's already given away the story. Before I've even had a chance to speak to Oscar. Oh my God, Oscar! Oscar, talk to me. Are you okay? Why, it is absolutely inadmissible, intolerable, and and indescribable. I. I have been attacked! What do you mean you've been attacked? My hands! I no longer have them! They have been stolen! My god, you haven't got your hands! But who did this? What's going on here? We can be sure of one thing, Kate Walker. That this heinous crime was committed by a barbarian. A dysfunctional individual whose behavior lacks all finesse. Did you get a look at your attacker? Tell me exactly how it happened. I was standing here polishing up my metalwork. 
I was just thinking that with all the dust in the air, it would be a good idea to... Oscar. I was very busy, and I suddenly felt two powerful arms grab me from behind and tie me up before I had the chance to defend myself. I wanted to call out, but my attacker gagged me before I could emit the slightest sound. Then he dismantled my hands with a terrifying pair of pliers. It was horrible. I can believe it, my poor Oscar, but did you see him? He was a real barbarian, I tell you. He had bloodshot eyes, steel teeth, and brown scaly skin, and he emitted foul odors. He was a monster, Kate Walker, a real monster, and he had a weapon. Okay. Oscar, please calm down. Everything's going to be all right. Uh, it doesn't look like it's changed. Who the heck would be interested in automaton hands? Even though I say so myself, my hands are two marvels of technology. Please promise to return them to me intact as quickly as possible. I am very attached to them, Kate Walker. You were attached to them, Oscar. But like you said, <laughs> I'm a brave and resourceful woman. Thank you, Kate Walker. But please, above all, do be careful. Don't you worry about that, Oscar. Okay. Right, Oscar. Let's go find this hand bandit. And this time, we're not going to be such a pushover. Kate Walker, please do not think that this problem does not concern me. But if it's all the same to you, I would so much prefer to stay here, just to be on the safe side. An engineer never abandons his train, after all. Yeah, sure. Another good reason not to lend a... <laughs> I mean, not to help me out. Kate Walker, even an automaton deserves a little compassion. I have just been savagely assaulted. Oh, I can feel one of my spasms coming on. I am on the verge of a clockwork <laughs> breakdown. And all you do is accuse me of being selfish. Okay, take a rest, Oscar. You're not much use without your hands anyway. Uh, help. Anything else you remember, Oscar? I have told you everything. And I'd rather not think about it anymore. Okay. Let's see How what old do you think your attacker was? How old? Such monsters are ageless. I tell you, my wheel work froze with fear. I think he must have been an older man. Someone with a soft spot for automatons. An expert who knows how to dismantle a pair of hands with a pair of pliers. I'm afraid I don't quite follow you. And what if it was Hans Varlberg himself? Kate Walker, in spite of the respect with which I hold you, Permit me to say that such an idea is stupid, Hans Borelberg, my attacker. A father would never attack his offspring. Get a grip on yourself. I should point out in all modesty that my attacker must have had muscles to overcome an automaton of my build. Hmm, maybe you're right there, Oscar. I do apologize. Okay, and we got the train. I don't know if your attacker stole anything else. As soon as he'd swiped my hands, he ran away. Well, at least that's one good piece of news. The train's still intact. What do you mean, intact? I am the train engineer. It was designed for me, and I for it. By maiming me in this brutal manner, the barbarian has also mutilated our locomotive. Without me and my hands, we're never going anywhere. Sure, okay. Could you maybe tell me how the train works, then? That is strictly forbidden, Kate Walker. There is only one engineer, and that train engineer is me. I am sure you don't have a license or authorization, or even a deputy engineer's permit. Do you really think it's the right moment to get wrapped up in red tape, Oscar? Regulations are regulations, Kate Walker. Right, okay. I'm done. Take care of yourself. I think there was something on the floor I could use. Oh, please, pick up for now. <laughs> don't forget me. There you go. I love that. Metal shears. Nothing else around. So I've wound the train up. I'm just looking for Oscar's hands now. Can't go through any of the other carriages. Now, just in case, I will remove the Barkstad voice cylinder in case I find a machine to play them. I don't want to have to come back just for that one. Let's go in here and down here. 
from now I'm just going to go in the opposite direction just to make sure I've explored the whole area. There could be anything I need to use or explosive box. Ah, I'm just there pressing A. Uh, good job it was nothing that would break something. Is this an elevator? I can go down. I do wish there was a map here, but I'm going to go down here for now. I don't think there's anywhere I can get lost too much. Hello? Hello? Dave? It's Dan. Can you hear me? Da Dan, is that you? Dan again. I can't hear you so good. Dan? Hey, can you talk? It's a bad conversation. Are you still mad at me? Come on, it's important. Dan, you're breaking up. I'll try and call you when I get out of this mine. You hey, hey, come on, what's happening? Listen, we've got to talk. Look, the line's just getting worse and worse. I'm hanging up. Yeah, that's no good. I assume that side story of Dan there is going to kind of end with their separation. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. This thing's jammed. So I either need oil or a stick or something. Maybe I can try this for now. Hmm. Good. This thing's How about that? That's going to No. If that's going to work, I need something. And it looks like it's too dark to go in. Oh, something up there, what was that? That looks like a ventilation duct. Is that it? Can you use those? That looks like a ventilator. You can't. Can just keep saying. That looks like a ventilation duct. It's too dark to continue. I might lose my way. Okay. Don't continue then. I need either pliers or a crowbar or something like that. That loaded up quickly, so that's good. I think there was another door. This direct, oh, it's uh, the only way I can go, really. So there has to be, for the sake of Oscar's hands. I don't think there's anything further on here besides those ladders that go up. I'm talking like really further on. I think this is the end. Yeah, she just walks into the wall. So that's pretty much everywhere I explored with one possible way forward. When she decides here, there we go. <laughs> so it's in here. One door. That door is locked. What? I've gotta find another way around. I oh, know. How about this way around? No. Nope. Um, I haven't got really any items that are significant. Got metal shields. Door yep, doors locked. Door. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, no, I definitely can't go in that door. So letters. I thought it was one way. I thought I had it down. I thought I knew what I was going to do next. This one, no, it doesn't look like I'm going left or right here. It's just forward and back along the train track. Is that anything? Nope, nothing there. I don't need to do that again. Okay, you don't need to do that again. Ah, down we go again. How am I going to get stuck? Going to work. Nope, if that's, that's going to work. 
Oh, that one. That's going. Uh, just try that. That's now. going. Oh, this thing's. Why? Oops, this here. This looks like I can pick something up, but I don't know what. That looks like a ventilation duct. It looks like a ventilation duct. Why can you not go inside? That looks like a. That looks like. Um. That looks like. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Answers design. Cross marks the spot, which is the winding up. I don't think there's anything I could do with that. That looks like. No, we don't want any uh, items. That looks like a. No, 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 that looks like a ventilation duct. I want to pick this up, but I don't think it is anything. This one. I don't need to do that. Don't need to do what? What is it? So, oh, is it the? I don't need to do that. It's the uh, lever for the elevator. I'm just standing on top. Point what to do. Let's have a look at the tasks. I already joined Oscar. I already gave Oscar the tickets, but I need to do it again, I guess. Metal she has to enter the storage and enter the storage room. Find the man who stole last sound. Find a spark plug and activate the electric generator. I know I needed a fuse or something for this generator here. But uh, I don't know, it's a spark plug. But find metal shears and enter them in the storage room. This is the metal shears. Enter in the storage room. I can't go through there because that it looks, looks like, like a ventilation a duct. duct. Oh, it looks like a ventilation duct, to be precise. Storage. Nothing there. Have another quick chat with Oscar, just in case I can. Oscar. How are you? Apart from the fact that I am incapable of drinking a cup of tea, of reading the paper, of scratching my nose, or even of adjusting my spectacles, everything is fine. Thank you for asking, Kate Walker. So, one, two, three, four, five. It's always been five. It's not changed. Right. I'm done. Take care of yourself, Oscar. Good luck, Kate Walker. And don't forget me. Mm -hmm. I wonder what happens if we fill the shelf up with all of these. If that's going to work. Yeah, yeah, I know something's missing. I've got all the voice going to work. No. I better not take the doll off the train. This place looks much too Okay, okay. So, only got the metal shears. Only other thing I could think is to travel in that big machine again. Big robots that I couldn't get off. I guess I don't need to move up to the train. To 
go up. Yep, there we go. <laughs> up we go, and in we go. So if I... Ah, oh, wait a minute. There's something there. Let's see if we can go up. Skip. Yeah, <laughs> there's a skip. Right, come out of that. I'm sure there's something here. She came up. Oh, or oh, I'm on top of the roof or something. She gonna jump. <laughs> it was just a little hop across. All right, so what's this? I can see through, and there is a room with canisters and. If that's going to work. What? It looks like something's missing. Yeah, I know there's something missing. Let's just. Oh no, can't go that way. Let's use this then. Gonna pull the panels off. That's just cutting a hole. <laughs> Big tin opener. Can you come inside? There you go. Right, let's see. Oh, I was going to check both sides there. Let's have a look. So I'm still looking for some sort of crowbar or maybe oil or something. Now, through there, I see nothing. But pipes and walkways. <laughs> no point looking at that. Well, this window as well. Through there, I see more pipes and pipes. I mean, I don't get it. Is that it? Ah, look. We have a spark plug. <laughs> So that's it. I can go down the elevator and start the generator. Fantastic. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, I'm going to get the generator up and running in the next uh, video. This has been going quite long enough just now. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you're enjoying Siberia so far, also give me a thumbs up. As always, subscribe to my channel. This helps me out tremendously. And also, as always, Thank you very much for watching. Bye.